Medical research, including cancer research of course, is often a long-term business. It's important that we have the ability to support projects over a number of years. Some people don't realise that the Cancer Council is not a government organisation. Now that means that we have to raise the funds for our work from the public. One of the ways in which people support the Cancer Council is through bequests. In other words, they remember the Cancer Council in their will. The Anti-Cancer Council was founded in 1936. In 2002, we changed our name to the Cancer Council Victoria. Our mission now is to lead the fight against cancer. More than 50% of our funds come through personal donations, business sponsorship, fundraising events and, of course, bequests. Over the last 70 years, bequests to the Cancer Council have benefited thousands of Australians. And with your help, we can continue that work well into the future. When my husband uh, was diagnosed with bile cancer at the ripe old age of 54, it came as quite a bit of a shock and he was given three months to live. After Ernie died, I became a volunteer at his suggestion at the Cancer Council. And this uh, made me decide that I would like to leave part of my estate to the Cancer Council. They asked me if I would like to join the Bequesters Club. I find that m most interesting because it kept one up to date with the latest research that was going on and you felt that you were part of the fight to uh, remove cancer from the, from the world, shall we say. By letting us know you've left us a bequest, we can plan ahead for future long-term research projects and education programs. We can allocate funds to specific research and support projects. We can keep you informed on what your money will be used for. And importantly, by letting us know you've left us a bequest, we can thank you. I think the most obvious thing is that it takes a long, long time. You don't make breakthroughs overnight. You might make a discovery one day, but it can take a decade, two decades, to bring it to fruition for something you can use, perhaps, in a patient. Now, that requires long-term support. And to get support from something like the Carden Fellowship Fund, as the Cancer Council of Victoria had, it allows them to do something that's never been done anywhere else in the world, which is to support somebody for 50 years. With that sort of support behind us, you can build up a team, as we did, and spend, as we had to spend, 30 years making a solid, important discovery. Now, when you're a cancer patient and you have chemotherapy, the bone marrow cells and your white blood cells get damaged and you need to stimulate them to grow again. So the colony stimulating factors that we discovered are used. We're talking about six, seven million patients around the world who have benefited from those colony stimulating factors. And that's an enormous success story for Australia. I would say that we wouldn't have been able to discover and develop colony stimulating factors without that support. It was simple as that. I can't wait to get back to work. There's so much that can be done now and it's just waiting to be done. But it all takes time, it all takes a lot of money, but it'll happen. No worry. I lost both my mother and my husband to cancer. I didn't want their lives to be lost in vain and I needed to update my will and reflect the changes that had happened in my life. So I'd thought about making a bequest to the Cancer Council and my first step was to go to a solicitor. The process was really simple and I achieved what I wanted in my will uh, and it assured me that my request had been fulfilled. I think it's really important that you regularly revisit and update your will. Life's continually changing and your will needs to reflect those changes. 
For me, the Cancer Council is the best means of fighting the war against cancer and I was able to ensure that my bequest is going to be used in areas of research which I particularly want. I've got a lot of life ahead of me and I lost the love of my life far too young and I'm passionate about increasing the awareness of the Cancer Council and all its good work and by leaving a bequest in your will you can ensure that the work of the Cancer Council continues well into the future. Bequests help fund vital long-term cancer research projects such as Health 2020. Findings from this important study will be used to identify cancer risk factors in all Australians. Health 2020 is a very large study we set up in 1990. It's the largest study of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere if you like and it contains over 40,000 people who were living in Melbourne at that time. We set it up to look at how lifestyle and other aspects of people's behaviour and exposures to different factors in life might affect their risk of cancer later on in life. During that time, several hundred people in Health 2020 have got cancer and we've compared them with the people who didn't get cancer and we've got some findings. Body size, predicts cancer risk. And that information has been used by the Cancer Council to mount a campaign to get people to change their waistline. But to get to this stage, we've had to spend millions of dollars. Now bequests are the lifeblood of our research. Without bequests, the Cancer Council couldn't fund this research. It couldn't fund Health 2020. Having lost my mum to cancer, I wanted to make a contribution to the, the fight against this disease, so I got on the internet, went to their website to find out a bit more. And I spoke with one of the representatives from the council and having spoken to them I, I felt that in my case probably the best way I could help with their ongoing work would be in the form of a bequest. So I decided that I'd leave the council a percentage of my estate. I went along to my solicitor and made the arrangements and it was as simple as that. I don't have a wife or children to leave my estate to, uh, so it's very important to me that it should benefit others after I've gone. I know having made this decision myself, um, I have the peace of mind on the one hand of knowing that my affairs are in order, uh, and also it gives me a great deal of comfort to know that I'll be helping in the ongoing battle against this, this really dreadful disease. Bequests, large or small, are appreciated. You can read about the different types in our Wills Guide. When a family member is diagnosed with cancer, it is an emotional and distressing time, and our job is to help ease the burden. The Cancer Information and Support Program offers extensive support to people, either at diagnosis or if they happen to have a recurrence, or if unfortunately they're facing the end of their life. We have a multilingual program where we have interpreters in 80 languages. We have a cancer helpline which is facilitated by cancer nurses. We have a peer support program where the cancer helpline can link someone in with someone who's had their type of cancer and they can share how they coped and some strategies by telephone. We have cancer support groups. We also have a financial assistance program where if people are in a bit of trouble because they're having treatment and they're unable to work, we can pay a few bills for them. Without the support from the bequest program, we wouldn't be able to do this. And it means that we can do it today, tomorrow, and into the future. Our son Jack was diagnosed with acute promyelitic leukaemia when he was three years old. He couldn't walk, he couldn't get out of bed for nearly six weeks and he, he couldn't understand why he couldn't do the things he wanted to do. On two occasions we actually thought that Jack was not going to make it. So we had to go, um, well we went into Jack and we sat with Jack and we actually said our final goodbyes. Um, we actually didn't think he was going to make it through the night. For us as a family, when we 
we look at where Jack is today and Jack's future and where Jack is heading, we would strongly encourage people to bequest money to the Cancer Council to um, help fund the research that basically saved our um, son's life. Jack is one of the six million people around the world who has benefited from Professor Don Metcalfe's research. Research that would not have been possible without that important bequest back in 1945. Please consider leaving a bequest to the Cancer Council Victoria in your will. Your generosity will help thousands of people just like Jack.